Hello YouTube, welcome by a new computer vlog. But first, maybe you have noticed I changed my channel name to Retro Machines. In a future video I will explain it in more detail because I have some more changes that I want to make first. Also I want to invite you to the Facebook group Retro Machines so we can make a nice community of retro minded people. The links are in the description. In this video we are gonna check out this 1U Tyan server. It's a uh, dual Opteron machine and it was given by a subscriber, so thanks Cubase guy. A few weeks ago he contacted me on uh, YouTube and he said I have a server here at home and I have no purpose for it anymore. Uh, maybe you want to uh, have it uh, so you can make a video about it. So I arranged the pickup uh, two weeks ago and now uh, we have it here. So let's check it out. Here on the front we have a CD-ROM, two USB, uh, LED LEDs, the power and the reset button and four hard drive base. The drives are 250 GB Samsung SATA drives and all the four drive base are filled with the same hard drive. So we have a total of one terabyte of storage in this machine. On the rear of the system we have a uh, non-redundant power supply, PS2 port, USB port, one COM port, VDA and two Ethernet ports. And there's room for two expansion cards and even a little squishy bracket if you need it. Let's open the case and see what's inside. If we start in the front of the system, uh, we can see here the IDE cable of the CD drive. And here is the SATA backplane which is connected uh, with normal SATA cables to the motherboard. The SATA backplane is powered with Molex connectors and there's also a Molex floppy connector. So if we need to power something in the system we can easily split up the power from here. The second small PCB in the system is the fan controller. All the small 4 cm fans are connected on this PCB. It's also powered with the Molex. And here you have some cables to the motherboard. Here are the non-removable system fans and if you need to replace them you need to loosen these screws from the bottom and then you can click them out. Under this wind tunnel there are the two CPUs. Here we have eight memory banks uh, with DDR1 memory and there are six sticks installed from one gigabyte each. Here we have a 64-bit PCI-X slot and here we have a PCIe 16 k slot. You can see here on the slot and the bracket that it's wired for 16x. Here we have the ATI RAID XL video chip. And I think it's uh, 8 or 16 megabytes of video memory. Here we have the Broadcom network chip. The system also has a second COM port, a second IDE controller and a floppy controller. And we have also a parallel port on this motherboard. And the motherboard type is a Tyan Thunder K8 SRE S2891. The chipset is an NVIDIA Enforce Professional 2200. And here we have a Delta 500 watt non-redundant power supply with also two 4 cm fans. Here we have four SATA ports for the four hard drives. And the 24 and 8 pin motherboard connector. So now I'm going to remove this wind duct so we can check out the CPUs. The CPUs are cooled by this very big copper heat sinks. So let's remove one heat sink to see which CPUs are under it. The two CPUs in the system are AMD Opterons 248 in a socket 940. If we check CPUworld.com, we see it's a 64-bit CPU with one core and one thread. It's 2200 MHz and the processor core is a sledgehammer. I reinstalled the CPU cooling and disabled the uh, intruder detection. So it's now time to see if the system will boot up. Also a warning for the headphone users, the system is maybe a little bit loud. We 
are now in the BIOS and the date is correct and the time is almost correct. But the uh, memory that is installed is only 4 GB, so there's something wrong. The CPUs are under 30 degrees. Here we can see the fan speeds and all the fans are 10,000 RPM. So that's why they are a bit loud. The memory is installed in the outer bank and uh, the uh, two other sticks are only in one bank. So I think I'm gonna swap one stick from here to this bank to see if then the 6 GB is detected. The sticks are Kingston DDR400 and 1 GB each. That looks better, 6 GB memory installed. With this Optron platform you need to fill up each memory uh, bank with two sticks. In the BIOS we can now see that there are 6 GB of memory installed. The system gives an error on the RAID 5. I'm gonna disable the RAID controller and first do full disk checks uh, on the drives to see if they are in good condition or not. In the BIOS we can see the system has now detected the four Samsung drives. The 6 GB of memory is now working but we have still two memory banks left. So let's see if we can upgrade the memory uh, a bit. Here's my box with DDR server memory. So let's see what we can fit in this system. This is a 512 megabytes module. So this is a little bit small. Here we have a 1 gigabyte module. So maybe we can fit this uh, in the system. Another 1 gig module. Another 512 uh, megabyte module. This uh, a one kick uh, stick, but only on 266 megahertz. This is the same, also uh, one kick 266, one kick 266, one kick 266, and what do we have here? Here we also have one key uh, 266, so this is a little bit slow. But I also have this package, so maybe we can install some of this memory. First I'm gonna remove the memory that's now inside of the system. So let's see what we have here in this bag. We have a DDR400 stick, ECC registered and hey it's 2 gigabytes. So let's put the one in. Hey another 2 gigabyte stick. And another 2 gigabyte stick. And another 2 gigabyte stick. Hey, wait, a 2 gigabyte stick. And you already cast it, 2 gigabyte stick. But wait, there's more memory inside. Another 2 gigabyte stick. And the final stick which goes in the system is a 2 gigabyte stick. And as you can see, I have still 10 modules left in this bag. So I have upgraded the memory from 6 GB to 16 GB DDR1. So let's try it out 
if the system will like this new upgrade. The moment of truth. System memory, 634 kilobytes. Extended memory, 16 gigabytes. The system memory is now maxed out and it's a 64 bit machine so it's uh, really easy to use the 16 gigabytes of memory. I'm now gonna use the ultimate boot CD to check the memory and see if I can check the hard drive. Mentest 86 is now running and it will take a while to check the 16 gigabytes of DDR1 memory. The memory test is at 25% now, uh, 26. <laughs> And I gonna cancel the test now because it has no errors and on a later time I will do the 100% memory test. So let's test the four Samsung hard drives. It has detected them. So we first gonna do a short test on drive 0. The short test has passed now so I gonna check the other three drives. All the four drives has passed the quick test. Oh, wait a minute. That's better. So the memory is working, the hard drives are working, the power supply is working, the cooling is working. So the system is uh, in a great shape. The caps are in a great shape and there's a little bit dust here on the cables and in the corners. So I need to take my air compressor and uh, clean it a little bit. I think I'm gonna make a video how to turn this server into a ZFS uh, file server slash backup server. Because the 16 gigabytes of memory is perfect for ZFS. And it has 4 SATA ports so you can add a lot of storage in the machine. Also let me know in the comments what else do you like to see on this server. So we can make a video about it. Thanks for watching, please like and share this video, subscribe and leave a comment and join our Retro community on Facebook, Retro Machines. See you next time.